Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica, and I cannot wait to jump into today's crafting tutorial, because if you haven't noticed, we're starting it off a little bit differently. We're on a field trip to Walmart to get the supplies that we're going to need for today's craft. Basically, I'm doing a Pottery Barn dupe, and we're DIYing some of our own Halloween decor, because I saw that they had this adorable terracotta jack-o'-lantern, and it was $89, and I knew I could DIY it for cheaper. I've seen several other people do it over on TikTok and I am obsessed and cannot wait to make it for my own home. So stick around. I'm going to head into Walmart now and get all the supplies that we're going to need and we'll see how cheap I can get this done for. Okay, I need one of these pumpkins, but they're so high I can't reach. So we're using a Harry Potter broom to get it down. All right guys, so I just got back in my car and unfortunately Walmart only had those jack-o'-lantern candy buckets. They didn't have anything else. They like barely had any Halloween decor. So now I'm going to head down the road and check Target and see if they have any jack-o'-lanterns. All right guys, so I made it back home. I am in my craft room and we are ready to paint our pumpkins that we got. So I found this candy bucket jack-o'-lantern at Walmart for a couple bucks. So we're gonna be painting this. I found this one at Target for $10 and it lights up. And then I found this gorgeous one for $15 at Target also. I absolutely love this one. I love his face, especially the eyes because they're like, you know, crescent moon shaped. So now we are ready to paint our pumpkins, but first we're going to cut off all these tags and stickers so that we can just paint right over everything. So hopefully you guys caught that clip where I was showing all the different paints that I got, but I got these three paints from Walmart. They are the Apple Barrel brand, and I got it in Jack-O-Lantern, Golden Sunset, and Chestnut. We're gonna try to mix these and hopefully make some type of like terracotta type color. And all of these paints were only 54 cents each, so you can't beat that. So there's only two more things that you're going to need for this craft other than your Jack-O-Lantern and your paint. You're also going to need some type of paintbrush. I'm using a chippy brush today. And then you're also going to need something that's going to add a little bit of texture to your pumpkin and then give them that like dusted, antiqued kind of vintage look. I am gonna be using some baking soda, but I've also seen people use cornstarch and flour. So really whatever you have on hand and whatever you wanna use, go ahead and use that. But I am gonna be using baking soda for mine today. And then I'm obviously not gonna be using this as a candy bucket, so I'm going to chop off this handle here and I had an idea to glue these pumpkins together so you certainly don't need this but just for what I'm doing I am also going to be using my hot glue gun later all right guys so I just have a little styrofoam cup here and I'm just going to start pouring my paint in this cup and just kind of mixing it up until I get the color that I'm looking for Okay, so there's all my paint, so now I'm just going to mix these up. All right guys, I think right off the bat, we got that perfect terracotta color. So now we are actually ready to paint our pumpkins. So I'm just taking some paint on my paintbrush and I'm just gonna paint right over this entire pumpkin. Make sure you get in those cracks. Okay, so that's a good first coat for our first jack-o'-lantern. So I'm just gonna set him aside over here and then I'll start painting my next pumpkin. Okay, that's good for this one. All 
Alright guys, so I just finished painting on that base coat on all of my pumpkins. I have them all setting on my desk here drying. So I'm going to leave these setting to dry for about 30 minutes or so. And then we'll come back and put a second coat on. Alright guys, so our pumpkins have been drying for about 30 minutes or so. They are completely dry to the touch now. So now I am ready to add that second coat of paint. All right guys, and now for the magical part, we're gonna be pouring our baking soda right over the wet paint on our pumpkins. Okay, I'm gonna let that baking soda sit on that wet paint for a few minutes while I work on the other ones. All right, guys, I'm gonna let these pumpkins set for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna brush off all of the excess baking soda and see how they look. All right, guys, so our pumpkins have been setting for a while now, so now I'm gonna take just a regular paintbrush and I'm just going to brush off all of this excess baking soda. All right, you guys, since this one is a candy bucket um, and I am going to be gluing this pumpkin on top of this pumpkin, I don't like that this one is carved out and this one isn't, especially if they're going to be glued together. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the eyes and nose and the mouthpiece so that it can just look better with our other pumpkin. All right guys, so I have my glue gun already heated up and ready to go. So I'm just going to add some hot glue to the top rim of this pumpkin so that I can set this pumpkin on top of it. All right guys, so I just want to paint over that hot glue right there that we did and kind of just touch up the pumpkin, especially this one where I had to cut into this candy bucket. So I'm just going to go over with my paint and then I'm gonna put baking soda all over it again. And I'm just going to repeat the process just so it looks like one solid piece. All right guys, so here is the final product. I just need to like shake out all of that excess baking soda inside, but I think they look so stinking cute. So I think the one from Pottery Barn is actually about the size of my big one, maybe a little bit smaller. So mine is a little bit bigger, but overall we spent less than $30 to make three terracotta pumpkins when the one that was smaller than my large one was $90 on Pottery Barn. So I say that is a win in my book for sure, but you guys know I love any DIY decor anyway, so had to jump on this. I am so glad that I decided to do this. 
All right, you guys, well, that is where I'm going to leave you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed creating it. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads.